Hello YouTube, this is Randy again with my Samsung Epic 4G and I decided to do a tutorial on how to flash everything back to factory stock just in case you've rooted it, tried out a few ROMs, didn't like them, want to go back to factory or you have a warranty problem, whatever the case may be um, this will get you back to your uh, factory stock uh, Android 2.1 running the DI18 so uh, I'm going to assume if you've already got a rooted phone and you've got a custom ROM installed then you've already figured out how to use Odin so I'm going to skip that whole tutorial and just get straight to it. Here I'm running uh, the newest Viper ROM uh, Trinity version 2.8 DK17 Froyo 2.2 going to go into settings and show you guys so you know I'm not making this up here even though the, the video quality sucks I'm sure you can still see it here Okay, that's uh, firmware is 2.2.1. The baseband is DK17, and the build number is Viper ROM version 2.8. I don't know if any of this makes any better or not, but anyway, um, what you're going to do is shut your phone down. Evacuation order acknowledged give it just a second to uh, power itself off here we're going to bring up uh, Odin you should be familiar with it by now and you're going to want to make sure if you're going back to factory stock you want to download the sph-d700-di18-8gb-rel.com tar.md5 file. That is your factory restore. You don't have to worry about flashing modems, pit files, anything like that. This one file will uh, restore the entire phone back to factory stock. It's it's very simple. Couldn't be easier to use. So we've got it turned off. Again, to go into download mode, you hold down the number one key and the power button when you see that yellow screen come up that says downloading with little android looks like he's shoveling or something this is download mode this is what you need to be in you've got Odin running back there plug in your phone get a little bit closer there for you now if everything is right you should see it pop up there in the yellow. It doesn't matter what COM port it says. Now make sure that you uncheck this F reset time. The only thing you want check marked over here is the auto reboot. That's it. Nothing else. So this time you're going to click on PDA. You're going to find your tar file. I keep all mine on the desktop real easy to find. There it is, the sph-d700-di18-8gb-rel.tar.md5. It's uh, right at 255 megs big. Make sure it's got the check mark by it. That's supposed to be there. And click start. And now you wait. And if everything's going right, you'll see this starting to uh, say different things. It's going into recovery, flashing the kernel, and then you'll see the uh, factory file system. You'll see your green bar over here start moving, and you also get the uh, you also get the same little bar right there in blue on your uh, Android device. Get that out of the way. This will take a minute. Or two. <laughs> and we're getting there.
just a couple more minutes here. I don't have any kind of a uh, editing software, so I have no way to uh, skip past all of this. So I apologize. You can always just fast forward. Just about done here. Here we go. Flashing the modem. And it should reset here. You should see it go blue and then it should go green. Uh, blue it'll say reset. Green it'll say pass. That lets you know everything went the way it's supposed to. It's resetting. And pass. Now... This will take a minute also. The first time this thing uh, boots up with a fresh ROM and everything installed, it's going to take a minute. So just bear with me here. It's worth the wait. And uh, as far as that SPH file, the, uh, the tar.md5 file, look around. You can Google it. Uh, check around on the XDA developer forums. I don't even remember where I found it, but... Uh, I, I just remember I jumped on Google and and typed in something like stock ROM for Samsung Epic and uh, it didn't take me more than five ten minutes or so to get it. And there you go. And I'll show you here as soon as it's done that we're back on a 2.1 and we should be back on the DI-18 uh, modem. Yeah, yeah. There you go. We're on a 2.2.1, update 1. Baseband is DI 18 and build number eclair. DI 18 as well. I know you probably can't read that because my video quality really sucks, but. Yeah, I don't think that helps. Anyway, there you go. If you have any questions, as usual, hit me up. Be sure to visit the XDA developer forum, and uh, have a good day.